Hello, good morning. I'm Jill and I'm going to be leading the um, collective worship this morning. So first of all, let's light the candle as a reminder that Jesus, the light of the world, is with us. And so we light the candle and say, Jesus is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench. Now we're going to hear um, a wonderful story about the Good Shepherd. Our story comes in a gold box. And some of you will remember that gold is precious. And so the story inside is precious too. Maybe it's a parable. Parables are precious. It looks a little bit like a gift. I think we'd all be pleased to receive a gift that looked like this. And parables are like gifts. We didn't ask for them. We were just given them a long, long time ago, before your parents were born, even before I was born. They're very old and very precious. And the box has a lid. And that's because sometimes it's quite hard to get into and to understand a parable, even when you are ready. But don't worry, just keep coming back and one day it will open for you. So let's see if there's anything inside this box that will help us get ready for the parable. Well, this is very green. I wonder what that could be. <sighs> Maybe it's a hill you could run down. Maybe it's a leaf off a huge tree. It's green on both sides. There's always the other side. Maybe, oh yes, a football field or a golf course. Oh, or a big patch for a pair of trousers. <laughs> See if there's anything else. Oh, it looks like a teardrop. Or, oh, oh, I don't know what that could be. It could be maybe something that you could look into and see your reflection. Hmm. Oh, these pieces are very dark. Oh, it's like holding a shadow in your hand. There's no light. Oh. Hmm. Some people think they might see a face. Oh, but there's no light, it's very dark. What else? <laughs> well, I wonder what that could be. A very long pencil. A very long, thin piece of chocolate. Here's another one. Maybe, maybe they're paths. Or maybe this is a road. Oh, could that be a bridge? A bridge between the two paths? 
football goals. <laughs> ah, now we have a space that is got an inside and an outside. And I think we can make the sides stronger. Have you thought what it might be? Could it be a house? Or just a very strong box? Well, that's it. It's finished. Perhaps something lives in here. Ah, it's a sheep fold. They call it a fold because that's where the animals are folded and kept safe. Just one sheep. Hmm. Two sheep. Any more, do you think? <laughs> Three sheep. Oh, four, five, five sheep in the sheepfold. Well, I, I think we have everything we need now to tell the story. There was once someone who said the most amazing things and did the most wonderful things. And so people followed him. And when they followed him, they listened to what he said and they asked him questions. And one day the people asked him, who are you? And he replied and said, I am the good shepherd and I know each of my sheep by name. And when I take the sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me and I show them the way. I show them the way to the good green grass. <laughs> and I show them the way to the cool, clear, fresh water. And when there are places of danger, I show them the way through.
And when we get back to the sheepfold, I count them in. so that they are safe. And if one is missing, I will search everywhere in the good green grass, by the cool, clear, fresh water, even in the places of danger until I find the lost sheep and then I will put it on my shoulders even though it is heavy and carry it back safely to the sheepfold and then when I am back <laughs> I'm so happy I just have to celebrate with all my friends and we have a great party. This is the ordinary shepherd. And when the ordinary shepherd takes the sheep from the sheepfold, he doesn't show them where to go. And so the sheep just wander wherever. And then when the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd comes between the wolf and the sheep and he would even give up his life to look after and save the sheep. So I wonder what you think about all that. That was a lovely story. Let's say together now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So I hope you have a very blessed day and a good week ahead. So may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you today and always. Amen.